And that'll do it. Quarterfinal Thursday underway with the number one seed, VCU Rams. From the start, no issues at all in advancing to the semifinal round. They win 71 to 53. The biggest takeaways is that I believe we are we are doing the right things here as a coaching staff. I believe we are doing the right things with the type of people we're trying to bring into this program. And I believe that our approach day to day and the way we teach and the way we develop and the way we build our players on and off the court is what will lead to success. And you know, we saw some version of that last year as we got better throughout the year because we stayed the course. And the thing that really fires me up about this year is I feel like this is the year where our team is the most selfless. Um, I feel like the ball just moves and flows extremely well. I mean, we don't have like one predominant score. Um, and there's always the next pass going on. There's always the next low drive kicks. And it's, it's helping our offense and defense flow really well because offense isn't just the only thing that requires selflessness. Um, I think the sacrifice that everyone's willing to put in for the obviously the greater goal of winning is what something we're all fired up about and what I think all the, all the fans and everyone should be looking forward to. Those of you who don't know, the program is a team building and leadership development company. Our mission at the program is simple. It's help develop better leaders and create more cohesive teams. Where I'm from, down is one, up is two, down is three, they all yell one. Right. Definitely pretty hard. It was a great a great experience, I think, for everybody to, to go through. It was like three hours on the field, and then the next day it was five in the morning um, on the pool. Um, and it was, I think, a really good experience because, like, a lot of times close relationships are formed doing hard things together, and having that experience so early on I think is going to help us for like, the rest of the season. I mean, in terms of myself, like, I felt like I was drowning for the whole second day, so I didn't feel... Like I was a, like a nice time, um, but it was great afterwards. We were all together and felt like we had like overcome something when there were no games like on the horizon or anything. So I think that was that was a great experience. And they did, like the program people did a great job, um, Sam and Mike. And it was I thought it was something that was really important to have done uh, now, so that we can kind of come together. It was good. I actually really appreciated the program. And I enjoyed it. Um, you know, a lot of guys. I think most people who do it think it's kind of like it's. Wow, we got through it, but I really, I really enjoyed it. Um, kind of might be messed up, or like you might think I'm crazy for that, but I enjoyed it. Um, getting to lead them was good, especially because I was new here last year, so you know I was kind of just in the back all last semester, um, and I got to come out and you know I think I'm a pretty strong leader, and I got to showcase that. And you know it wasn't, but it wasn't about me. It was as much as about how they respond and how everyone picked up each other. You know, even if I was leading a certain segment of the program just as much everyone leading each other. Like, it wasn't all just on one person, it was everyone, everyone leading at the same time. So, I enjoyed it. I thought uh, it was a good opportunity for us to have, and I actually think we'll, we have benefited and we'll continue to benefit from it moving forward. All right, welcome to the President's Cup Ping Pong Tournament, first ever. We're going with the four champions from each pool. We've got the President's Pool, Coach's Pool, Upperclassman Pool, and Underclassman Pool. I think Matt came up to me one day and he asked, um, what, how long did the ping pong tournament take? Uh, you, you all were kind of there. We, I feel like it took like a couple of hours, but we had a much bigger bracket. Um, we had 16, 18 guys that were playing, basically our whole team. So he kind of approached me with the idea of it because President Hicks, um, if I'm going to get fired for this, self-proclaimed very good uh, ping pong player. Um, and um, yeah, I said to him, I think we can put it together. Uh, I immediately 
um, made Jack uh, co-chair or CEO, COO, COO of the tournament. Um, I have to give him a lot of credit. He put together the bracket. Um, and there was a lot of thought that went into that bracket as well. Probably should have been more thought in, in hindsight to make sure that I was on the other side of the bracket. Yeah. But um, there's a lot of thought that went into it and went on Amazon, was able to get the, uh, the trophy engraved. Um, Jack and I, that day, earlier during the day, we went over and got the uh, ping pong table from um, the tennis department. Yep. Um, so yeah, it was, it was a lot of thought that went into it, but um, on a short notice, um, I think we were able to execute pretty well. Yeah, I, I thought it, it went well. I think having the guys get their matches done during the week at the Union was kind of, the build up was, was solid. Um, as DJ of the tournament, I think I did a very good job with that. Um, Josh obviously coming out to the Star Wars Darth Vader because no one wanted him to win. And just like the first tournament, um, it was really rewarding to see um, Ricky, Ricky get that win over uh, Josh in the championship. Alright, here we are with the champion himself, Ricky yep. Ganini, aka the Italian Stallion. <laughs> Ricky, how do you feel after that uh, big championship victory? We're coming for another. We're coming for another, we're coming for another. What, what is, when is the next one? I, would love I don't to know, I don't know. Wait, one more question for ready you. Ready for not getting another one. So many people doubted you going into this championship uh, match. How, how do you feel about that? Okay, I won. That's what I mean. There it is. The, oh, the Hods, I don't know who did that because they were very wrong. They put me a seventh seed. That's just disrespectful, so I just have to show them that. What are we doing? Do you have the trophy? I do. I have it in my room, though. I don't have it with me. But yeah, it's up in my room. Um, always see it in the morning. And remind myself that I'm better than these guys, so. Especially Josh. I know he's watching. Yo, with our friends from Davidson College men's basketball team. Woo! Good luck for yourselves. So we went to, like you said, the Levine Children's Hospital, um, and it was it was a great experience, and I loved it. But it was also extremely sad, um, just because you know we we look at our lives and we're so caught up with what, whatever we're doing, we think if we miss a shot, that the world's going to end. Um, so it really put into perspective, you know, what's really important. You know, life is life is not. Uh, finite like there's there's a deadline for, for people and some people don't have the, the luck that we've had to be in a position we're in to do what we love um, so it was great to interact with the kids hear their stories see what they're doing but it really you know it puts you in your place and, and really humbles you to to make you grateful for all the opportunities that, that we have you want to get in the middle A big focal point for our recruiting process was to improve the shooting and the passing of our team and I think we nailed it on the head and I think we've got a, a, a pretty impressive group of talented skilled players that allow us to, to play the brand of basketball that is, has you know we've had some version of every year in, over the last several decades. We have a lot of people that can play and we're all efficient like every time we play in practice there's always going to be like different guys that stick out and they play good on that day, and it's going to be very hard to guard us, I think, because there's a lot of options. And yeah, it's, it's been a lot. It's been a little different than in previous years. It's been a lot of playing with 60 guys on the team. It's a lot of reps, um, less reps, so a lot of guys try to fill that kind of time. Um, the guys have been, like, everyone's super selfless on this team. Everyone's, like, trying to help the next person out. One word that I would use to describe our team right now is uh, selfless. Uh, there's no buy-in that's asked for. Our guys were bought in when they said they wanted to come to Davidson. The skill set and the, the, the IQ and, and feel for the game that all of them have in some way, shape, or form allows them to play a way that makes them selfless. So I would say selfless easily would be the thing that, uh, the word that I would use to just describe our team now.